Kids, it's Janice from Ozark Family Homestead. Uh, the day is just getting rolling here, and I thought I'd take you guys along with us. So, um, what's different about here lately is our way of eating has changed up pretty drastically. Um, we have one family member that has um, some food issues that have had to have been addressed, and um, we have our normal homestead, homeschool routines to go through, but uh, we're working through this food stuff as we go. So I thought I would just kind of document the day and how we're making little adjustments here and there um, as we do our regular routines. So I am up, Sam and Sarah, they always get up early to work on their college courses while the house is quiet. So they're finished doing those this morning and I've just gone in to wake up other children. So they're gonna start getting their day rolling too. Um, it's slow going, <laughs> but it's going. So I'm gonna make me some coffee in the percolator and we'll just uh, record here and there little bits of our day and I hope you guys enjoy it. So here we go. Are you awake? It's morning time. It's morning time. <laughs> yes, it is. Are boys awake? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What are we going to have for breakfast? We were just talking about <laughs> Smoothies. Yes. Yum, yum. Do you like smoothies? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, we got to get our morning jobs done, though, right? And Daisy, the cow, is ready to uh, get milked, right? Say, let's go, let's go, let's go. Go, go, go. <laughs> Abigail says, no, no, no. <laughs> Turn it off. Let it cool down, and then Mama's going to get some coffee. Sam's getting the dishwasher unloaded. That's one of his morning jobs every day as he takes care of getting the dishes from last night put away. And they're getting ready to go see Daisy. <laughs> David, are you hiding? <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> He's hiding. <laughs> Andrew hasn't made it in here just yet, but... They've got the buckets and stuff ready to go. So this is a bag just full of rags for cleaning Daisy. And then they take three buckets. One bucket with the soapy water that they use to wash her up with. Uh, this bucket with the, oh, I got these towels off Amazon. And they use the towels kind of to uh, catch any hair or anything that might go down in there. So they milk straight into this bucket and the milk filters down through the cloth. And then this third bucket here is a spare. So just in case Daisy decides to step in this bucket. Which she has done before. Which she has done before, yes. And it ruins the milk and it, the bucket is no longer sanitary and fit to use. They have this one down there clean and ready to go for just in case. Right? And I got him. And he, you got him. You lured him out of hiding. Yes. Good morning, David. <laughs> kind of. He's just kind of. <laughs> okay, now we gotta get Andrew. All right, and while they go out and take care of Daisy out there, I get to braid girls' hair. Look at Anna's pretty hair. Yeah. That mine. We're due to give you a little bit of a trim there. Sorry, guys, the light's not in here. Let's try this. Is that better? Let there be light. And there was light. <laughs> So, and then we'll get Abigail. Oh, she's hiding there too. We'll get your hair done too. Your hair's not as long as Anna's though, is it? Yeah, but it feels like when you sleep, sleep in it, so you had to brush it a lot. Yeah, because it gets tangled. Show them your new brush. 
We opened that up at the last unboxing video, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yep, fancy, and fancy. It's really good. I tell you, when we had our normal brush, mm -hmm. it, it was really hard to get the tangles out. But this one, when you just brush it, it gets a bunch of tangles out. You gonna go help her out? <laughs> okay, we're gonna finish getting everybody dressed and hair fixed. And do all our morning jobs and, and then eat smoothies. All our morning jobs and then eat smoothies. That's right, that's the plan. <laughs> all right, hair yeah. is fixed. I got three little girls with hair looking decent. Yes. Me. Yeah. And you too? Mm hmm. Yep, strip sheets off beds. Today's the day that we wash girls sheets on their beds. I've already replaced Rebecca's over here, but we'll do that. And I've answered some YouTube comments um, because our milkers will be back in here pretty soon. And we'll have to process milk. What are you looking for? Nice. <laughs> Dropped a doll between the wall and the... <laughs> Between the wall and the bed. All right, we'll get ready to transition to breakfast time stuff. Yep. Yep. I'm waiting to actually start laundry until they bring the milking stuff back in because uh, they'll have those dirty rags that'll need to be thrown in the washing machine too. So that's what I'm waiting on for laundry. And you guys still have some more morning jobs to do, right? Mm -hmm. Make sure you've brushed teeth, dealt with the cats, empty trash cans, all the things. And you want me to do cats? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay, how'd she do? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, yeah. got the buckets back in. Let's see how much milk we got this morning. We've been getting over a gallon every morning, haven't we, Sarah? Approximately. We mm. get. It may can be like fourteen cups Sunday, but pretty close okay. to around a gallon. Okay. We'll see what we get this morning. And now I can start laundry. There's the dirty rags. That's what I was waiting on. You thinking 15 cups? Uh, how about? Okay. I'm going to get a Sharpie. She's going to put the date on there. And since we're milking twice a day, she'll put AM on there as well to designate that this is the morning milking. And tonight she'll put PM on it. And then she'll put it in the freezer for about 30 minutes to get that temperature down fast. And we always set a timer so we do not forget that there is a glass jar almost full of milk. You've never had any accidents <laughs> happen, but I have made frozen milk. <laughs> I have made frozen milk. <laughs> Did you know that milk turns yellow when it freezes? <laughs> <laughs> and the cream does not want to separate as well afterwards. Yeah, but it's still usable. If you wanted it. Okay. So timer set in 30 minutes yes. from now, it'll go just to the refrigerator. Yes. Okay. Moving on to smoothies. Actually, I need to go feed the goats and Robbie and then I can make smoothies. Okay. Well, I'll have everything out. Well, not the frozen stuff. Yeah. But I've already got the blender out. Okay. <laughs> you sneaking up on me. <laughs> You're like a little ninja over here. Okay, I had to get the camera back out because Rebecca just ran in here and said, Mama, Mama, you didn't film me. <laughs> Is this better? Mm -hmm. Okay, get those fingers out of your mouth. <laughs> Are you sleeping? No. Say, I'm awake. I'm awake. No fingers. Look at that. Hey, are you my baby? No, a tiny little big girl. No, a tiny little big girl. That's her new thing. She doesn't want to be called a baby anymore. She's a tiny little big girl, she says. I'm a baby right now. You're a baby right now? Mm-hmm. Is uh, that why you had your fingers in your mouth? Mm-hmm. Oh, tiny little big girls don't do fingers, do they? Mm hmm Because they're big. Only babies do their fingers. Oh, so you're a baby now? Mm-hmm. Well, that's wild, isn't it? <laughs> it's convenient the way that works out, huh? Oh, it is. <laughs> Okay guys, so laundry is started. I've still got some children outside finishing up animal jobs. Um, Sam and Sarah are working on some breakfast stuff here and while they do that, I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you the, oh, the cookbooks and whatnot that I am collecting recipes from. 
So those of you that missed, we, we talked about this a little bit on our last live stream that we did, but we have a family member that has had some, there's an elimination diet that needs to be had. So some testing's been done and some foods have been found to be problematic. So the ones that we have excluded from that person's diet right now are pretty much all grains, except corn is allowed. So no wheat, no spelt, no oats, no rice. It's a lot. <laughs> um, Sugar-free and not just processed sugar-free. No honey, no maple syrup. Uh, stevia is allowed on that. And then there were some just random fruits and vegetables that popped up on there too that we are avoiding for right now. Or the person. Well, it got quieter now. <laughs> Sarah had the tea kettle going. She's getting some tea started, so it's quiet now. Um, I didn't realize how loud it was until the sound stopped, Sarah. <laughs> um, so the fruits and vegetables, they are, let's see, broccoli, eggplant, peas, um, asparagus, asparagus, asparagus banana, and pineapple. banana and pineapple. Yeah, those are the fruits and vegetables. And again, my hope, I'm an optimist here, is that those things can be added back in as healing happens because of the elimination of the, the triggering foods. So um, that's what we're working with right now. And of course, there's nine people in this house and everybody has to be fed. So it's learning to juggle the feeding our regular menu items and then tweaking some things somewhat to, you know, help the one that needs the extra help. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you the cookbooks I'm using. Okay. Sarah's done with the blender now. I had to pause because it went from tea kettle noisy to blender noisy. Which is worse. <laughs> the blender is much louder than the tea kettle. So I hope they could hear me when I was filming with the tea kettle. I'll need to check and make sure that actually recorded. I was oblivious to it while I was talking to the camera there. Okay, here are the cookbooks that I'm using now to try to uh, revamp our diet. Um, this one here, this internal bliss, this is affiliated with the GAPS diet and that's what this is here. So GAPS stands for gut and physiology syndrome or gut and psychology syndrome. There's, there's two books. There's a yellow book that's about the psychological side and then the blue book about the physiological connection uh, between it and the gut. So this is kind of the cookbook that is affiliated with that. That's for you. That's for me. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> And, um, okay, and then the other books, well, first of all, the reason I like this book, this is grain-free, sugar-free, and lactose-free recipes in here. So there's a lot of these that we can use. The ones that I'm having to skip right now have honey in them, which the family member cannot have right now. And, um, oh, the ones that have things like broccoli and eggplant and bananas and stuff like that in it. I have to skip those, but there's still a lot of useful things in here that I am able to glean from. And then the others that are proving to be very helpful are all of my Trim Healthy Mama cookbooks. This was the first one that just lays out the Trim Healthy Mama way of eating. And then these other three, and that one, and that one, are the cookbooks that I have. There may be others at this point that go along with that way of eating. And the reason these are coming in handy is because these are sugar-free. They do use things like, you know, stevia and the other alternative sweeteners, but they, um, yeah, they're sugar-free and mostly grain-free. They do have a baking blend that's made up. Oh, is that for? I have no idea what that was for. Okay, I bet that's for the hash browns there. I bet that's what that was for. Sorry guys, <laughs> we have stuff going on here. Um, mostly grain free, but their baking blend does have oat flour in it, which my family member can't have right now. So I'm having to skip those that include their baking blend with the oat flour. But there's lots of recipes in here I can use. Of course we can't do rice um, with the elimination diet but I've been able to replace rice when it's in these recipes with cauliflower rice. So this is very, very helpful. And here's my little hodgepodge of a list here. I went through our regular meals that we have 
that um, would still be good stew. We do um, deer and beans, kind of like ham and beans, only we use our deer meat we harvest here from our property. Chicken and vegetable soup, I can't add barley or rice to it. Our Dutch dish, which is pretty much just mashed potatoes with kale and some um, sausage in there. Uh, pesto salmon or pesto chicken. Uh, grilled chicken or grilled steak. Big salads with just you know, chicken meat added to it. Um, spaghetti with the spaghetti squash noodles in there would work. And then here's some recipes. I've gone through the Internal Bliss cookbook and written down the recipes that we can use and the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook. And this has given me enough for these first two weeks of transitioning to this diet. And as I need more recipes, I will go through the additional cookbooks there. So that's where we're at at this point. And breakfast, oh, here comes a Becca baby. <laughs> Sarah, you're making mine? Yes. Yeah. Sarah, you're making mine? <laughs> So Sam's our normal breakfast helper, and he's helping with um, what duck eggs, avocado, and some hash browns for. You need goat, Mama. Huh? You like that? You need goat. I need a skirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mama's got her farm pants on today. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm you to go to later. Maybe later. Mm -hmm. Maybe later. <laughs> so, uh, Sarah, what are you putting in the smoothies? Uh, right now. This one is yogurt, uh, cherries, banana, and a spoonful of cocoa butter. Which the deal is our family member can't have bananas <laughs> yes. or the cocoa powder <laughs> at this point either. So. We got a baby. Huh? We got a baby. Che we were going to eat a, cher a cher cherry. You like the cherry kind? Mm -hmm. Chocolate cherry. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And the yogurt is made from Daisy the cow. She gives us our milk. <laughs> Daisy the cow's milk. Yeah. <laughs> Not from Daisy. <laughs> Some people may wonder. <laughs> that poor cow. <laughs> you see my, my uh, mugs up there? Whoa. Some of my viewers will recognize those whoa, because whoa, those, those were whoa. gifts from viewers. And the cups that we're using were also a gift from viewers. Mm -hmm. Flip that box around a little bit there, Sarah, so you can see. And we've got these in our Amazon storefront as well. We love these cups. This is what they look like. You know, just kind of white. You know, nothing much. And then if you and look then, at yours over there, you yes. can see when they transform. Hey, guys. <laughs> we'll go over here and see. Instead of white, it turns pretty colors whenever you put something cold in there. So, here we go. All right, moving on to the next thing. Okay, while they get the rest of the smoothies put together and the food for the other person, um, I'm gonna do some read-alouds. Got some Bible we're gonna do, some science and history, and I'll just do that while uh, breakfast is finished up and then we'll move on to the rest of the day. Okay, and our person that can't have the smoothies um, because of the bananas and stuff like that could have some just with the cherries, um, but no cocoa powder and stuff in there. So berries are okay, but they can also have, these are duck eggs frying up and some hash browns because as of right now, potatoes are okay and avocado. So this has been kind of a standard breakfast for those that can't have what the rest of the family is eating. We're heading out to the root cellar and we're gonna get some potatoes. Chickens are over here getting into the dog food. Let me see, they're hiding over here. See them? <laughs> they're hiding over there. Okay, all right, here we go. I don't know what the lighting's gonna be like in here, guys, so. There is no light, there's no electricity in here, so. Here's kind of a glimpse of what the root cellar is looking like nowadays. I've got my crocs here. This is what I used to make sauerkraut. This is where we keep a stash of candles uh, just for emergency purposes. They stay nice and cool in here. We don't have to worry about them melting, but they're not taking up space in my house. And then some of the canned things. What, baby? You went out? You don't have to be in here. Empty jars. 
potatoes that uh, maybe will go in the garden. <laughs> squash that I got on sale, the winter squash. There's some more russets that I'm keeping in here. Is it cold in here? It is. <laughs> so, okay, and then stacks of potatoes over here. Like, oh, my leg, baby, I can't walk. Um, these buckets here, this is what we had all of our water glassed eggs in through the winter. These are all empty. These buckets are right now. We have one last bucket with eggs in it. Baby, you can go stand outside. Outside's warm. It's a lot colder in here, isn't it? Go stand out in the sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it's There's cold like for a baby girl. In there. And uh, so these are empty. We'll, we'll work on refilling all these now that the springtime production will um, start up. So for lunch, we're not doing the yellow and we're not doing the red. We're doing the russets, which I don't have any on the underneath ones. So they're going to be in here. We're going to pick some from here and uh, get enough going for lunchtime today. This is funny. That is a funny one. <laughs> All right. We'll get that on back to the house and get them in the Instant Pot for lunch. Okay. I forgot to show. Oh, behind you here. I forgot to show more things here. It's got some uh, Rotel type stuff. Uh, canned chicken and then the cranberry juice there. So, And then just some empty baskets here on top for storage and I don't think there's anything up here it's so hard to get to up here at the tippity top but I don't know if there's nothing up there I don't know if there's something up there I don't know what it is all right let's get this stuff inside let me see temperature in here in the root cellar that's what we're at right now so 44 degrees or so all right you asked me to leg yes I see that's your rug that's the welcome mat yeah. Welcome to the root cellar. <laughs> Before I forget, I do want to say that um, we have the, can you see them? Ah, the, uh, the box of those color changing cups that we use for the smoothies. Those are in our family's Amazon storefront. And where are they at? See my stack of books there? All those cookbooks and stuff. Those will be in our Amazon storefront as well. Um, I'll try to remember to put the links in the description box. That way, if that's something that you're interested in getting the cookbooks or the color changing cups, you can just click the link. And that way, you guys, you get the stuff delivered to your house. And uh, But we get, Amazon gives us a little bit of a commission if you guys buy it that way. So, what, baby? Okay. I hope you like it. It's good, she said. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to do that before I forgot. We're moving on now. Okay, guys. Pepper Pete. Yeah, Pepper Pete, yes, okay. Okay, guys, so I am outside. I was outside hanging up laundry and I uh, just got a phone call and um, was notified that the people that we bought this property from, you guys, amazing, godly people. A big blessing to our family. And um, the wife called to let us know that her husband had passed away last night and was giving us his funeral arrangements. And uh, you guys... He was one of those men that was such a, he was a bigger than life, a just so strong and capable that it's hard to imagine him gone. So that was unexpected today, did not anticipate that. So um, we're going to rearrange some schedules for later this week and uh, attend his funeral. And I haven't even told the kids yet. Um, she called. I was hanging up laundry. Abigail ran the phone outside to me. And um, I talked to her while I was outside. And then I called Sean and told him. So no, he, he knows. No, be daddy. Sean is daddy, yes. And daddy's at work. Mm -hmm. So, oh, guys. I don't know. He was a believer. You know, there is absolutely peace in that. But we will surely miss him. He was a, a really, really neat guy that, I mean, he set up the orchards here on our property. And uh, 
the gardens and the barn. I mean, this, this property that we have, he just, he founded it. He has, he has a family legacy, and I love that he has a family legacy, but he has a land legacy here with this property. And um, I think it's really neat that we can be here to continue that on. And his wife did say on the phone that it made them both very happy to know that our family had the property, so. Okay, guys, my battery's about to die. I gotta go change out the battery, and I've gotta finish hanging my laundry, so I'll go do that. All right, we are gonna take a break from schooling here and get some lunch. So, um, earlier this morning, I had scrubbed up those russet potatoes that we got from the root cellar and had them going in the Instant Pot, and they've just been sitting here on warm for a while now. Um, Andrew's pulling out the butter. This is some homemade sour cream from Daisy the Cow's uh, cream. I skim off the top of her milk. Uh, this is some leftover turkey bacon that we had from breakfast yesterday morning. And he's going to shred up some cheese. And Sarah ran out to the greenhouse to get um, green onions. That's what we have growing in the greenhouse. So she's going to get that. Um, over here, I've got, oh, this was the hand washing after breakfast there. The milk buckets got done. Some leftover soup from a couple days ago. We had a quick lunch. Let me see this light. Is that any better? It looked, looked like it was glowing with the other light on, so I hope that's better. Um, this was just a can of condensed chicken noodle soup, and we doctor it up. We add some canned carrots to it and some canned chicken to thicken it up. We like a little bit more hearty, but this is what was left over of that canned soup, so pulled it out of the fridge and just heated it up some, so that is going to be lunch. And we'll press pause on school and try to wrap school up here shortly after lunchtime so we can go outside. It is gorgeous outside today. Right, guys? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got everybody else reading in here, so... You guys ready to eat? Yep. All right, guys, just touching base with you guys. Lunch is over, the kitchen is cleaned up. Sean's home from work, uh, school is done. There's still stuff to put away though, but um, we're gonna head outside and do some work out there. It is a gloriously beautiful day today. Upper 60s, sunshiny, just a beautiful day. So we'll see what we can get done. We do have a live stream this evening with you guys. So um, we'll have to come inside and have supper and everything finished up early enough so we can sit down to do the live stream, but we'll see what we can get done outside. Were you playing on the dirt pile? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I thought I would have booty in my shoe. Really? Playing on the dirt pile with Abigail? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you have all the toys and everything that we've ever gotten for outside. The dirt pile has been the best investment. You making a river? No. Making a track. A track. Mm -hmm. And this is their pit down under this old pallet. They've got a big hole under there. Oh, so we keep the pallet on there. Mama. Is this your trap? Nope. No. Nope. It's what? Hide hole. Hidey hole. Air <laughs> She's gonna <laughs> hop in there. <laughs> and me too. <laughs> me too. There she goes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Are the traps in there? <laughs> and you too. That's and you too. Is. She says, I'll go down in there as long as you're with me, sister. There she goes. It's deep. It's deep, she says. Yeah. Really deep. Oh, I gotta get on that mommy down there. <laughs> You did it! Oh, 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 my ears. Did you get messy? Okay, we're gonna go get to work on some stuff outside while it's pretty. <laughs> and lovely. And lovely. Yeah. Okay, this is what Anna and I are going to work on. First of all, these are the, I don't know if y'all have heard of winter sewing. Um, Sarah was working on this. this, is what she saves these jugs for. And she has started, uh, 
different little seeds in here and they kind of act like miniature greenhouses. So she has some herbs and some flowers and even some celery in there that she's trying to get growing. And Anna and I are going to work on this, these uh, pots here. We've cut, oh, and me too. I heard, and me too. You're going to help. Oh, uh oh, it busted. <laughs> Can you get me a new one? We're going to work on these. Get the straw off here. We put the straw on to protect it uh, from the cold temperatures. But there's things growing under here. This would be whorehound growing under here, which is a medicinal herb. And we'll just see what all else we've got and what comes back. But we're going to work on getting this cleaned up. I know this is usually lemon balm every year here for teas. So this is what we're going to work on. Are you going to help? You're helping, and we'll put the straw in the dog houses. Okay? Yes. Mm-hmm. All the straw. Okay. Okay. You making pretty pictures? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, lady girl. Yes. <laughs> what, baby? Give me line. A line. Come here. Oh, yes, he says love on, love, on love on me. Love on me. Yes. You old dogs. You good old dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Mama, wait for us. I want to hold your hand. There we go. <laughs> Okay, let's go see. What are you doing? Sarah's in the greenhouse. It's like Andrew's doing some animal jobs. He just took off on his bike. We're going to go out here and look at the disaster where the peas are supposed to be planted. You see the ducks and the chickens? <laughs> they know where the feed is kept. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Daddy put it in there. He threw it out there. <laughs> Happy ducks. Happy chickens. Got the sheep over here. Uh, look out, baby. Let them eat. Yes, I know. There we go. I know. They're looking for their food now, too. Them ducks and chickens got something to eat. Now it's our turn. <laughs> She's bringing a whole flake. Are you a good helper, baby? Uh-huh. <laughs> there you go. Look what Abigail's got. Do the sheep like you? Uh huh. They do. So we're waiting for the grass to start growing fast. Yeah. Yeah. I see some grass poking around. Any time now, it'll start back up again. Mm -hmm. She's just gonna shove it in there. And then we got the turkeys and goats over here. I'm putting on a show for you guys. Oh, Andrew, he's just zip zapping all around here. <laughs> I bet he's going to beat her. You got it? Uh huh. 
Oh yeah, but this is a project too, so you can see it's collapsed. Don't shake it, baby. It's already broken. It's collapsed on the top here. Yes, turkey turkeys. So this is what we used when we would grow out our meat birds. We would get our little chicks, and when they get big enough to be out here, um, but they're still relatively small, we put them in this, in this run over here, and then we can move it around. But this has collapsed. It was made with the plastic, the pipes and stuff, and they just collapsed. So this is on the project list. We're hoping to get meat birds in early March. So they'll be several weeks old before we need this contraption. <laughs> the toms are, they're showing off for y'all. Here, let me see if I can get a close up of them for you. Those two toms there. They say, don't we look handsome? Yes. I like the sounds the turkeys make. Everybody knows it's feeding time. She's sweeping. You think you got a problem with your broom, baby? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You want to hold my hand? Okay, here we go. Right. We're blowing through. We got a dump truck load of wood chips delivered not too long ago. And just blowing through it. And these were the tops. Is this from where you guys pruned the fruit trees? Yeah. Okay. That's what that pile of limbs there was. And those need to be put through the wood chipper. Um. And Daisy girl. This is Daisy. This is our milk cow, our Jersey cow, and there's her calf over there. She just had her baby. Uh, what she gave birth on a Friday. About a, about a week. About a, yeah. A week, week and a half Friday, ago. Two weeks. Yeah. So and she's giving us a good two gallons of milk a day, aren't you, girl? Yeah. Baby's going pee over there. <laughs> Little heifer calf. So, and the calf is half Jersey, half Angus. This so. chicken. What? This chicken. Chicken where? Back over there. Yeah, back there. There's more chickens back there. Do, do, do chicken. Lots of chickens. Right over here. This is, oh, look at her go. <laughs> it's little spruce. <laughs> and she says, okay, mama, I'm back. Yes. She's a sweet little thing, isn't she? So. And Daisy talks to her calf, makes sweet little noises to her. Isn't that right, Rosie girl? Yes, Rosie's their guardian. She keeps them safe. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Come with me. What is it, baby? Oh, you can climb like a monkey. Look how big she is. <laughs> I did it. Yeah. You step over here, and then I step over here. I'm the snowman. I'm the one who made it. You're in the me. She made it for me. For me. For me. <laughs> okay, so this is my next project. Sarah has made a map of how we're laying out the garden this year. Um, for those of you that don't know, we have the main garden, which is up closer to the house, and then this 
second garden is just what we've been calling it or the pumpkin patch is out here by the greenhouse and uh, this strip right here connects to a big oh a whole big garden that runs between the greenhouse and the cow shed back there where Rosie the uh, Great Pyrenees is and that was all a pumpkin patch last year with corn in it and this year on the map this is going to be one big long row of peas and then the brassicas here next to it which would be like the uh, cabbage cauliflower broccoli things like that in here and so we have some cleanup to do in this area because those things will be what goes in the ground here next and uh, yeah <laughs> always something to do okay I'm gonna show you in the garden he's got stuff going with the tractor there so I hope you guys can hear me over the tractor but if you can see this it says warning top secret plantings in progress enter at your own risk so we're gonna see now it is mid-february so we're gonna see what sarah has in her greenhouse it is nice and toasty warm in here we're looking at right at 90 degrees yeah <laughs> okay let's go through and see what all is in the greenhouse green onions which we had some at lunch today and you got some brassicas there what's this one here do you, you know you can't tell the cauliflowers and um and, bro and broccoli's apart anymore when they're at this stage because so they look exactly the same it's a cauliflower or broccoli and there's some lettuces some beautiful lettuces these are just really really pretty and this would be is this some beets in here carrot carrot that's a humongous carrot I'm sarah i'm waiting for it to go to seed okay it looks like a beet to me well it's uh, i think it's like a year and a half old okay so. so she's wanting to get seed some more lettuces over here really really pretty yeah i like those got some kale planted in these pots here and swiss chard oh yeah and swiss chard yeah that's what the sign says so purple cabbage yep Right there, that would be a purple cabbage there and there. And then green cabbage. Yeah, right there in the middle. Some the kale's not looking that great. Well, it's like two years old, so <laughs> it's on its last leg. It's two years old. Yeah, here we go. So we've had green onions, and this stuff has been here all winter long. Even when it got down super crazy cold. Okay, Sarah, point out the Brussels sprouts here. If you look in there, those teeny tiny little nubs, those are little baby Brussels sprouts. So that's what those plants are there. Here's another one back here. Teeny tiny little nubs. So these would be golden beets in here. And then this Swiss chard. Yes, okay. and the lonely radish that... <laughs> I have had growing. Oh, and look then, at the kitties. Yeah, Sarah. You got flowers we had a, in February. Um, we had a hanging pot right over this. Yes. And the seeds must have dropped. It must have and dropped. And I had in one there. sprout. Well, that's so pretty. That's a nice little addition for February, isn't it? I like that. Okay. Little bok choy. Yes. Right there. I enjoy bok choy. That's a different type of lettuce right here. Very frilly little lettuce and here's more look at those Brussels sprouts in there right in the crook of each of the little leaves there she's making it pretty for us sorry <laughs> so yeah see this bok choy is a little bit bigger here I enjoy it all through the winter so pretty cabbage it's starting at a, de a decent head on it. Yes, it needs to it get is. bigger, of course. But. It is, and it's been in here all winter long. Yeah. And, of course, some strawberries in there that we may transplant out in the garden later on. We've got some rosemary. And a tractor And coming. stuff. Oh, he's coming with the, with the stock trailer. I don't know if you guys can see through the greenhouse window there. He's moving the stock trailer for moving animals around. 
I wondered what he was doing with the uh, tractor out. Okay, so that's what's going on this afternoon. And let me see over here what all you've got. So this is yarrow, yarrow that I've had going for a few years. Yep, that would be medicinal. Cam, cam meal, which is actually super frost sensitive, so I'm surprised I got it through. Really? That's awesome. And I, I, my snapdragons, they're, I guess they're actually um, perennials if you keep them in, it, in a greenhouse, because okay. I've managed to keep mine going for a few years now. Yep. And then they drop seeds. And all these. Oh, is that what those are? So I keep all my pots just full. Yep. And they just come, come they just back. Keep and I get more back. and more. And there's some. I started with six plants, if you can believe it. <laughs> and they just keep going and keep going. Lavender. So, yeah. I got my new growth starting to come up. Yes, it is. It's beautiful. So. And then, yeah, awesome. Snapdragon. And this right down here. Do walking you know? onion. Oh, Egyptian walking onion. Is that what? What the ducks. Um, yes. The ducks destroyed our patch last year, and this is what was salvaged. And said, let's just put it in some dirt and see if it'll grow. And it did. So we will restart our walking onion patch. So, cool thing about this here. Yeah. Which so one? So this is um, elderberry. And I thought it had died off. I had nothing. I, but uh -huh. I've faithfully been watering it. And look what I've got. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Little bitty thing of green right there. Yes. So, so I'm keeping on watering it. More elderberry. Because I think... We had planted two new plants last year, and I don't know if they made yeah. it. They were down by the creek, and I think we may have lost them. Mm -hmm. So, all right, guys. So, this is the status on the greenhouse, and this is the light that they used on those days when it got down, like in the teens. And these are seed starting trays that Sarah has set up in here. Guys, these are the shelves that you all sent and just the supplies that you all got us set up with. So the potting soil and everything, these were gifts from viewers. So thank you guys. And we've even got the some of the weed fabric back here, which is about to go out in the garden here before too much longer. Okay, you see this here? Those ducks right along this edge of this garden, this is the main garden, is where those Egyptian walking onions were planted last year. And ducks came through and just got rid of them along here. So we'll find a different spot. Looky here, guys. There's some that are trying to come back. See that right there? That green? That's Egyptian walking onion. Ducks need to stay away from my Egyptian walking onion. All right, we've got the ducks here. Oh, says I'm done swimming. I'm gonna go over and work on some fruit trees. You can't hold my hand, my hands are full, baby. You gonna hold my, oh, mama's gonna hold those. You can hold my finger. No. <laughs> no, but this one's got the camera. Can you hold me? <laughs> nope, I got both hands full. There go the ducks. They know it's getting to be nighttime. They're gonna head back towards their coop. But I am going to come over here and work on some fruit trees. Trying to prune what I can get real quick before I have to go inside and start on supper. Jordan made that. Yes, he did. He did a good job, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Yes. And Abe helped. And Abe. <laughs> And that one too, yep. All right, apple trees. We pruned them in February, so here we go. What'd you find, baby? Three duck eggs. Three duck eggs, yep. hold them. No, let Abigail hold them. So we're over here working on this tree, pruning it up. And I looked over and just right over here, I tell you, ducks just, they will lay an egg just anywhere. There were these three eggs right up there along the fence, just hidden. So, surprise! You gonna take them one. inside? Sure. We do day one. Don't forget to log them on the board, okay? Three duck eggs. Three duck eggs. All right, baby. We're gonna get back to work. You gonna give those to Mama? Here, give them to Mama. No. 
Daddy, no, Daddy. Yeah, you know what your job can be? You can help pick up the sticks. You pick up the sticks and put them in my pile. Okay? What? And don't, that's Mama's job there. Yep, that's Mama's job. That's Mama's job? Yep, that's Mama's job. Your job is to pick up sticks. Thank you. you have me? Hmm? I'm going to do my job, and you're going to do your job, okay? Um, We're going to... Job my job is to cut the sticks off the tree, and your job is to pick up the sticks and put them in our pile right here, this pile. This pile? Yep, this pile right here. What are those? Yep. Okay. Oh, what are those two? We're going to work together. Mm -hmm. I hear more geese. Get on it, Hear them? I hear them coming. They're, Down again. they're flying north. What the? Look at this little goofball. You are a handsome guy. Look at you. He is a looker. Where are those geese at? Oh, they're right above us. They're right up above us. Whole bunch of them. They think springtime's coming, baby. Um, what are you, what are them at? Up in the sky. Look up. Whole bunch of birds. Yeah, Abigail just saw them too. She said, oh my. I don't know if they pick up on camera or not. But a whole bunch of geese think springtime's coming, and I hope they're right. Because I'm ready for springtime. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Looks like Sarah's coming back with the milk from the evening milking. Sam's picking up sticks for me over here because I'm wrapping stuff up. I need to go inside and start on supper, and Sam's going to work on moving this pile. Uh, this is what's been trimmed off this one tree. The issue with this is I'm five foot tall <laughs> and uh, I can only do so much here and I also don't like heights. So I've cleaned up the bottom as best as I can, but I'm gonna have to get Sean's help for getting the higher up things. I always feel like I'm clipping off a ton. I mean, this is just the bottom what I've pruned off and there's bigger stuff to go on top, but uh, it, Whenever it's loaded with apples every year, I always feel like I didn't prune enough. So, and that's just the one. And then there's two more over there in this little side orchard that needs to be pruned. So, that's what got done for today. And now I'll go in and start on supper so we can eat and get ready for our live stream with you guys tonight. There's Robbie boy. Robbie boy, he guards... This is the bachelor pad over here. Robbie boy hangs out over here with some of our boy goats. It always smells like goat over here. So, there's our handsome boys. All right, I'm gonna head inside. Oh, Dudley likes to get up on top of the shelter. I'm gonna head inside and start on some supper. All right, we're back inside working on supper, which is salmon patties tonight, just because it's quick. And I don't know if I mentioned that with these uh, food changes, the family member cannot have chicken eggs. Or they can have the egg yolks, but not the egg whites of chicken eggs. So here, let me show the egg here real quick, Sarah. Um, so we're switching to duck eggs for everything that that family member is going to be eating as well. And I wanted to show you, okay, so we have local friends that heard about our issues here and they offered to give us some of their duck eggs to help since we're going through more duck eggs than usual. And you can see here, there's some of the shells. This is the chicken bucket. This will go out to the chickens in the morning. Um, this is the last duck egg that Sarah's going to put in the salmon patties. Look how dark it is. Um, we don't have this breed of duck. I think, did she say Cayuga? I, 
I want to say that's how you say it, Maybe. I think, are the ones that lay these darker color eggs. But Sarah, go ahead and crack it open. It'll it'll be a normal you know egg inside. It's just the shell is a darker colored shell. But yeah, it's that's a what a duck egg. egg. The thing I think is different with the duck eggs is the white is clearer. I think more of a crystal clear than chicken eggs. But anyway, that's the only difference here that we're using. With our salmon patties, a lot of times we would use um, oats that we would pulverize like in a coffee grinder to make it not a flour, but you know, smaller hunks. Um, we are using coconut, shredded coconut in here now as a binder with those eggs. And our family member can have coconut and not the oats. So that's another change that we're making here too. I can put the recipe, I guess, in the description box for our salmon patties because uh, it is a little different. And no, you cannot taste the coconut. I can't taste the coconut. Do you notice it? No. Nope, I don't notice it either. So, okay, salmon patties are going then. Um, I've already got some sweet potatoes in the Instant Pot here. And these are sweet potatoes from our garden. They've just been stored away all winter long. And uh, yeah, here's those extra duck eggs that our friends brought over for us. So those are very, very helpful and we appreciate it a whole bunch. So we'll get that going, and I think we're gonna do steamed broccoli, which is on the no-no list. So, we thinking? Can of corn? Can of corn, maybe, okay. as an extra side dish. Okay, that's the plan, and we're getting stuff set up for the live stream also. So, things are still moving right along. Well guys, it looks like, I think Sean and I are gonna eat after the live stream tonight because it starts in about five minutes. Now the sweet potatoes are done. They're in the Instant Pot here. And I will have, maybe one of the kids can film, I'm hoping, if uh, Sean and I are on the live stream with you guys. Broccoli's not quite done yet. Some of the salmon patties are done, but the others are still cooking. And we got the little bit of corn there for the one that isn't allowed to have the broccoli for right now. So this is what is for supper tonight. I'll recruit some child that's uh, not on the live stream to do this and Sean and I will come and eat after it's over with. Here, let me take you in here and I'll show you. Oh, they're getting everything set up for the live stream. Cause what do we got, like five minutes? Uh, about. Yep, got the extra light in here just so it's not so dark. And uh, this is our setup, so hopefully it'll all go good tonight. Sarah, oh yeah, Rebecca fell asleep from being outside. She's got a little pink cheeks too. But if you can film maybe while Daddy and I are on the live stream to show everybody supper. Okay, Um, I don't know if it's, am I gonna be too loud? No, it'll Probably. be okay. And if it is too loud, then I'll just explain to everybody why Sarah is so loud. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I hope you can hear me. I'm trying to be quiet because they're doing a live stream. Um, I'm making up plates here. Um, sorry, I've got it switched around. So I am I think Mama already showed everyone the food. But <laughs> I'm just kind of, oh, there's Anna. Do you want, do you want me to show? So I'm just trying to make, to make up plates so um, us kids can eat while they're doing the, li the live stream and I'll make sure to keep the food warm so as soon as mom and daddy finish with the live stream I can get um, their food made up and they can still eat warm food. So they just started so it'll be probably around an hour actually before they actually get to eat but I'll make sure to keep stuff warm. So I'll let you guys just kind of watch as I make up plates. So if I set that back there. Right around two gallons of milk a day. And I did film, I guess I'm still filming a day in the life today. And um, I have some video of Spruce down there when I did go down there. And she was just prancing and galloping all around the place. So uh, maybe next week I'll have that up. But if I can remember to take a picture, I'll throw it up there on the
All right, guys, that is the end of this video. We finished the live stream, and Sean and I, well, I finished eating. Are you eating now? Eat now. He's eating now, so it's after 9 o'clock. I don't know if you can see. Rebecca fell asleep there just before the live stream. So we will need to get her ready for bed, but that's kind of how our day went. I appreciate you guys hanging out with us and just coming along, and we do the next right thing. That's what I tell the children. Okay, guys, let's do the next right thing, <laughs> and we just move on. Oh, is she going to wake up? We'll see. <laughs> oh. Hi, baby. Are you waking up? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, guys, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. And make sure you are subscribed. We're shooting for 24,000. 24,000 subscribers by March 11th. And we'll see if it happens. But if you could help with that, I would appreciate it. And uh, just tell others about Ozark Family Homestead. And uh, help our family's channel grow if you are so inclined. Thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Thanks, Owen.